Hey everybody, Ryan Jackson here. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to the 100 Days series on the 2026 Code Changes. So, we have made it up to the actual wire method articles, right? We have the cables, then the raceways. So, 320 through 340 is cables. We're going to start with article 320, which is type AC cable. Now, I know not everybody uses AC cable. It's still really popular in New York City, for example. But in a lot of parts of the country, they don't really install AC cable anymore. But the change that I'm going to talk about here applies to basically all of the cable wiring method articles. So I hope you don't skip this under the assumption that I don't install AC cable, therefore I don't care. So let's take a look at what we did here. Article 320, armored cable type AC, 320.2, listing requirements. The listing requirements for cable accessories were expanded. Now, the same change basically, it's not verbatim, right? But the basic same change was made to Article 330 for MC, 334 for NM, 336 for tray cable, 338 for uh, SE cable, and 340 for UF cable. So essentially the same change. There's a couple of small little differences. Uh, for example, tray cable talks about uh, talks about cleats, right? Because tray cable is usually in a, in a cable tray. And in a cable tray, we often use cleats, right? But of course, you can't run Romex in a cable tray. So we didn't do that change in 334. So there are some subtle differences. But for the most part, here's what they all say. 320.2 listing requirements. The following must be listed. Number one, the cable itself. AC cable, MC cable, NM cable, TC cable, right? The cable has to be a listed product. That's not new. That's been in the code for quite some time. And quite frankly, it should be, right? I mean, give me a break. The cable should be a listed product. Number two, cable ties have to be listed. Now, that's been in the code for a couple of code cycles, and you'll remember from a few videos ago, we also put it in Article 300 as a general requirement, so cable ties have to be listed. But here's what's new, and this was never required before. Hangers, staples, and straps. All right, so initially, they wanted to say support hardware must be listed, and that's really what we're trying to capture here. Now, you can't say support hardware shall be listed because what does that mean studs <laughs> nails you know i mean there, there's no product safety standard for for nails and studs right i mean there's the astm standards but there's certainly no ul standards so you can't say support hardware because i mean where does that end right so hangers staples straps have to be listed that was never required before all right so here we've got some listed cable ties. You'll recall that it not only has to be listed, but it has to be identified for securing and supporting. And you'll certainly remember that 2S and 21S satisfies that rule, right? So these things can be used. But here's the bottom line. Uh, hangers, staples, and straps. They do make staples that are listed. Uh, a lot of them aren't. And we can debate whether or not they should have to be. I mean, it is just kind of a little piece of metal, right, that you drive into a stud. Does it really need to be listed? Give me a break. Uh, but now it has to be a listed product. Um, I believe that they make uninsulated staples that are listed. Um, you guys in Massachusetts that are watching this, you guys love your insulated staples. Uh, most other parts in the country don't use insulated staples, right? We just use regular old steel staples. Now, I, I have seen some of them that are listed, right? And uh, you have to use them now. What else has to be listed? Well, fittings for connecting cables to enclosures or equipment. This was ultimately already required anyway. I mean, it said, uh, you know, cables and fittings have to be listed. So I think this connector already had to be listed. So no news here. Really what's new is the securing and supporting stuff that has to be that has to be listed, right? Staples, cable, uh, staples, hangers, straps, right? Cable ties. Here's the thing. Go to the dot 30 section of the applicable wiring method article, okay? 320.30, 330.30, 334.30. A lot of them are, a lot of them are identical 
but there are some differences in them. And the reason I want you to go there is because nowhere does it actually say you must use a staple, right? Or you must use a strap. Usually it says MC cable, MC cable must be secured and supported using straps, staples, hangers, or other approved methods. So do you have to use listed products? Well, not necessarily. You can use other approved methods. Now remember, approved means acceptable to the authority having jurisdiction. So if the inspector will allow you to use support mechanisms that are not cables, straps, and hangers, well then great, those don't have to be listed. And I, I'm not trying to sound like I'm like I'm trying to find some back door in. I'm I'm not. But like, what about what about tie wire that you use for tying rebar, right? Um, tie wire is super, so it's stronger than any cable tie. I mean, let's just be serious here. So if I've got MC cable and I take tie wire and I tie wire that thing to a piece of strut, let me tell you something, it ain't going anywhere. Can you do that? Well, if that is an other approved method, sure. There's one tricky little caveat here, though. Take a look at 334.30. Tell me if you see those words, other approved methods. I keep looking for them and I just can't find them. So I think it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. There you go. Make sure you're using listed support stuff and then you know you'll pass inspection. If you don't want to use listed stuff, if you want to use something like tie wire, I would recommend talking to your inspector beforehand. It's a lot easier to get permission than to beg for forgiveness, right? And I'm speaking as an ex-inspector. I would much rather you just ask beforehand than make me be the bad guy and say, hey, you got to change all this stuff. So there you go. Big change in the cable wiring method articles as it relates to securing and supporting. All right. The next video, we're going to talk about MC cable specifically in 330.10. I hope you'll join me and I hope you'll be safe out there. See you, everybody.